Today, we're traveling to a European-inspired island here in California. Welcome to Santa Catalina Island! Hi, our names are Nat and Max. And if you haven't seen us around, we usually travel our beautiful country north of the border. But as things start going back to normal, we've started expanding our travels. And where better else to start than sunny California? So if you guys missed our last video, Nat and I are super tired because we explored two Disney parks in one day. That's why today, we decided we're going to take things easy and explore a nearby island by the coast of California. So first and foremost, what is Santa Catalina Island and where is it? Santa Catalina Island is a European-inspired island by the coast of California and it takes about 45 minutes of a ferry to get there, which we did this morning. Now, before we explore this beautiful island, we thought we'd let you know how we got here in the first place. To get to Catalina Island, you'll need to buy a ticket from the Catalina Express, which is the official ferry of the island. After checking out of our hotel, we took an Uber down to Long Beach, California, which has one of three ports you can take to Catalina Island. We booked our tickets online, which really came in handy because we were kind of falling behind schedule. That was so close, we almost missed our ferry. Hi. Good. Thank you. Although it was a little gloomy that morning, the ferry ride was nice and seamless. And before we knew it, we were already getting ready to dock on the island. Thank you. It's a bit chillier than what we expected, but welcome to Santa Catalina Island. That's my name. Hi guys. Hey, we are you guys are from Natalie. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. Good. You guys ready? Oh, nice. You can see it. Wow. All right here, all the view, all the harbor. Nice. Wow. Especially at the night time, yeah. you guys can see all the city lighting. Oh, yeah. oh that's nice. perfect. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing that you have to know if you're also planning to visit Catalina Island is visitors are not allowed to drive a car on the island. The island roads are pretty small, and most residents and hotel services drive around in their golf carts. We guess that's for the better so everyone can get away from all the noise and enjoy the fresh ocean breeze. But there are golf carts and bike rentals in town if you do want to go around and explore the island. Our hotel fortunately has a service that can take us from the port to the hotel and into the town. Hey guys, we just arrived here at our hotel. We're staying here at Zane Gray Pueblo Hotel in Santa Catalina. Our room is not yet ready, but we kind of expected that because we arrived so early. They were nice enough to offer us breakfast before we explore the town of Avalon. Just how amazing this view is. Look at that. It's so nice. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like we're on a cliff. Yeah. And overlooking the town. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. wow. Oh my god. It's so beautiful here. So after having breakfast, Max and I decided to check out some of the amenities of this hotel and we were just blown away. It turns out that they have a rooftop deck where you can see an overview of the town of Avalon. And if we're just playing it by sight, it looks like that this hotel might be one of the highest hotels here in Avalon because we're literally on the mountain, right? Well, if you guys can tell, we're still wearing our sweaters. It's still spring here in California, so it gets quite cold during the nighttime and quite windy. But right now, we're just enjoying the sun. And just a big kudos to Max for picking this hotel because I didn't really do any research or work on picking this one. And I think we also paid just $95 for a night here because we use points. Is that right? Yeah, it's so awesome. It's so nice. <laughs> 
If you wanted to know more about that and some tips about travel, definitely subscribe to our newsletter. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Okay guys, right here is my drop spot and my pickup spot. Okay. When you guys are ready, please give us a call and I come and pick you up again. So okay. right here. Okay? You. You're welcome. Thanks, Daniel. Uh -huh. You're welcome. all day, why not? So nice. It's starting to be a very fine day here at Santa Catalina. It's very cloudy this morning, but now the sun is shining and we love it. Here in Santa Catalina Island, there are some tours that you can avail. And one of them is going inside a submarine. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, and in the submarine, you can like watch some fishes, some reefs. We should have tried that actually. Yeah, because I believe they have conservatory for the fishes here. There's like a glowing light inside the waters. Yeah. So green, right? Bright green. So it seems here in Santa Catalina Island, the formation of the land is very hilly. So they kind of build the buildings, the houses, the structures on top of the hills, which really makes it nice because you get the nice view of the ocean. And we're here right now exploring Avalon, which is one of the main towns here in the island. Avalon is kind of like the downtown of the island, where you'll find most of the small businesses that operates here. From hotels to restaurants, if you're looking for something, it's likely you'll find it in this general area. And of course, our favorite part is you get to enjoy the beach and warm tropical breeze from the waters as you stroll through the shops. <laughs> it's for you. So for lunch, we just popped by a local restaurant here called NMDK and they specialize on seafood and what a way to enjoy this beach. And since we're enjoying the waters, why not try some seafood, right? So Nat and I ordered the same food. We got cookie bowls, but I got the salmon one and Nat got the tuna one. And for the menu, instead of dining in in a restaurant, we chose to just take out our food, pop by the beach and just look for a palm tree shade. Which is really perfect. Plus, we get this waterfront view. <laughs> Max just spit her food. I'm not sure if that came from out of the nose or out of the mouth. <laughs> After enjoying our Pokeballs a little too much, we get a text from our hotel saying, that our room is ready. So we hopped on their golf cart, drove up the hill, and checked in our room. Locked it again. <laughs> I opened it and I locked it. How do you like our room? It's nice and cozy. Yeah, exactly, right? I was gonna say, say that too. This is a nice and cozy kind of room. Mm -hmm. It's not the biggest, but it definitely looks neat and brand new. We didn't spend too much time in the room because we were trying to catch one other location before it closes for the day. The Descanso Beach Club is a quick 15-minute walk from the town of Avalon and is the only beachside restaurant on the island. As we are trying to reach our way to Descanso, I think Nat didn't realize he had put on too much sunscreen. So I think so far this is one of the more relaxing trips that we've made because every now and then we do like activities here and there, try to do as much as we can. But now here in Santa Catalina, we just wanted to relax and explore the town itself. Yeah, and it's a perfect place to unwind and just to relax. And especially with all the walking that we did yesterday, I think we did about 28 to 29,000 steps in that day. It's about time to relax. It was bad enough that I had too much sunscreen on my face. But on top of that, we also didn't make it in time to this Cancel Beach Club. But we were just so amazed of how beautiful it was that we decided to stick around and enjoy the scenery. Oh, 
also it looks like that the beaches here in Santa Catalina Island is naturally very rocky over there but they put up these sand beaches so people can enjoy more of the finer and whiter sands. I'm loving this big pineapple palm trees. It makes me so happy. And I don't think we have any of those in Vancouver, right? <laughs> yeah, only on tropical islands. And while we were enjoying the last bits of sun and the fresh ocean air, one curious friend decided to say hi. There's a sea! He's just He's lounging around. Back. He's coming back! He's literally right there! <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> so cute. I didn't really anticipate that we were gonna see some wildlife today. We just saw a seal. As this day starts to come to an end, we made our way back to Avalon and found a restaurant to have dinner. And it was amazing that we got to sit outside and enjoy our burgers while watching the sun slowly say goodnight. We are super happy and relaxed after spending a day in Catalina Island. This place truly is the perfect weekend getaway if you're looking to unwind and take a break from the hustle and bustle of the cities of California. After having a nice relaxing day on Catalina Island, we're going off on another adventure and about to drive from Los Angeles to... So we hope you subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.